Why, hello there, YouTube. Again, sorry for my appearance. I just worked out, I just did cardio. Today is Friday, April 20th, and I am making a post-workout meal. I figured I would show you guys. So I'm really ravenous, so I'm munching on about a cup of veggies. It's cucumber, carrots, and baby tomatoes. And I have this everything but the bagel seasoning on top. Very delicious. I have these Simply Potatoes hash browns cooking and I'm going, I put salt and pepper on it. I'm going to put this no sugar added ketchup on there. Has great macros. It's zero of everything, zero calories. Come on. Zero calories, zero fat, zero protein, zero everything. Sorry, that took so long. And then in here, I have a veggie burger and a slice of cheese melting, and I'm just keeping it in here to keep it warm while the hash browns are cooking. But my original idea to pick up the camera was because I just had a couple clients this morning, and we've been having some great success, and I kind of wanted to share how exciting that is with you guys. So one client I've had for seven months has just made great progress and she tripled the number of push-ups she can do we do like a fitness reassessment oh excuse me and she like quadrupled the number of crunches she could do and she lost inches all around on her measurements and she feels better she looks better she's more muscular she's more in shape and it's really exciting and motivating and it's it was just really exciting for me to be able to think like wow i actually helped a lot this person changed their life and it's really motivating and that's one of the reasons I really love being a personal trainer. You guys can see that, it's gonna be beautiful. But then, another thing that happened was yesterday one of my clients has some nerve damage and one of and his goal is to be able to do um, lunges and it's it seemed kind of impossible with how he's currently walking and things like that, but we were able to do some lunges yesterday like assisted with some help and like holding on to something and stuff but we were able to do them and he was he said it was really hard but he was so excited to be closer to his goal and i just am like overwhelmed with joy for my clients and i'm so happy about these things so i just wanted to share that with you guys i thought that would be helpful maybe if you're thinking about being a personal trainer it's extremely rewarding i would love to help i used to have a video on how i passed my nasm cpt because that's how, who i'm certified with and I will probably upload that again because it was really helpful to people. So, yeah. I'm really excited for this to cook. I'm just waiting here like... Mm. Another thing I was gonna talk about, um, I just get these ideas throughout the day and I wrote it down on my notes on my phone, is spacing out your meals. Like right now I ate breakfast at 8.30 and now it's 12.45. So it seems like usually within like two hours, I'm really full after I eat. And then it seems like clockwork on the dot, two hours and 45 minutes or three hours, I start to feel this like pang of hunger, but it's like, I'm also not that hungry. Like I think my stomach could be just digesting. So usually the point is like, I try to space out my meals between three to four hours. I don't want to push it over five because then you're kind of spiking your blood sugar when you eat again. Your blood sugars should be kind of steady. If you're eating steady normal meals, it'll go up and down. Um, but if you're waiting too long to eat, when you do eat again, your blood sugar spikes up and that's not good for your insulin levels um, and your blood sugar. So, but with dieting, since you have a limited number of calories, I usually try to just wait about four to five hours. No, three to four hours, not five hours between meals to kind of spread it out and not be super hungry for one portion of the day. So that was just something that I thought could be helpful for you guys also. Now I'm going to get the rest of this cooking and I'll show you guys how it looks when it's done. All right, so this is gonna be amazing. I'm letting the cheese melt a little bit on the hash browns and then I'll put some ketchup on. And then I just have my normal turkey burger and slice of cheese. So lots of cheese and protein going on here. Gonna be delicious. I also ate about a cup of raw veggies. So I'm gonna put all that in and I'll let you guys know what the calories all are. I'll put it on the screen and then I'll possibly show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. Um, and yeah, so see you later.